the world's going to keep making you look at your past, your past, your past. And we've got to keep looking at the future. You look at your past, you're going to get depressed. And you're going to get stuck in your past. You look to your future and go, man, what is that moment going to be like? See, my actions, a lot of the things I do is because I'm thinking about my future. And I'm thinking about that moment when I see Jesus because I realize that everything I do is going to bring either reward or regret. It really is. I've got an extra thousand bucks. Okay, on that day, that future, when I see Jesus, what is going to bring reward and what's going to bring regret? I could buy a lot of fun things for myself with that thousand bucks, but on that day, Paul's saying, I'm just looking at that day, going on that day, maybe I just give it to the poor, because on that day, I'll be rewarded for it, versus, yeah, I mean, we've all bought things we regret, right? You go, oh, that was a waste of money, that's a waste of money, that's a waste of money. Think about what we're going to say at the end. When we stand before God, are you going to regret the car you drove, regret the house you lived in, regret the clothes you wore, regret, you know, just, just everything, what are you going to regret? What how about your time and how you spent it? Are you going to, are you going to go, oh, I'm so glad I watched 7,000 movies? Or are you going to regret, wow, I wasted all of that time down? It's, it's, it's about the future. Paul's going, man, what am I going to look forward to at the end? I'm going to bring an illustration that this is like the first illustration I did. It was 20 years ago, but I can't think of a better way to, to explain it. Um, I actually didn't use a rope back then. I used a, remember a, remember a computer paper? when uh, it was all stuck together and it had the holes on the side that you had to peel off. Remember that? I remember getting a, a roll, and some of you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, which is crazy to me, but because uh, that was the best, you know, and, um, and it never worked right because of the rolling things, but, uh, but I, I, had, I remember being a youth pastor and I put uh, that computer paper all the way around the room, and, uh, but I'm going to use a rope now because I can't find that computer paper. Um, Imagine this rope, okay, pretend this rope just goes on forever, okay? Just imagination. Pretend it goes around the world a few times. It doesn't. It ends at the rock. But uh, let's just imagine this thing goes on forever. Now, imagine that this rope is a timeline of your existence. You just exist forever. You see this red part? This would represent your time on earth. You've got a few short years here on earth, and then you've got all of eternity somewhere else. This is, this is your existence. And what blows me away is some of you, all you think about is this red part. It's all you think about. You're consumed with this. You go, oh man, I can't wait till here. You know, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to save, save, save so I can really enjoy this part right here. <laughs> and you're consumed with that. And you're thinking, oh man, am I going to get to travel? Am I going to eat well? Am I going to do this during this part? And I'm like, are you kidding me? What about this? What about this? What about, th- what about all this stuff? It's, just, it's crazy to me because the Bible teaches that what I do during this little red part determines how I'm going to exist for millions and millions and millions of years forever. And, and so why would I spend this little red part trying to make myself as comfortable as possible, enjoying myself as much as I can, Paul says, look, I'm going to live my life for this mission. I'm going to spend my life, invest my life for this moment when I cross that finish line. See, I'm going to forget about all this stuff I could enjoy, and I'm not going to look around. I'm going to be like a runner just looking at that moment when I face God because when I face him, then I don't get this chance over again. We get one chance at this life on earth, and it can end at any second for any of us. We've got one chance at this, and then comes eternity. And I'm not going to be fooled. I'm not going to spend my life down here. See, people look at some of my decisions and go, oh, you're so stupid because that's going to really affect this. I go, no, you're stupid because it's going to affect all of this. (laughs) Man, I'm serious. I I look. I look at the way people live and I go, wow, that is so crazy. You are so crazy. You're You're going to do that right now, just to enjoy right now, not even knowing if you have tomorrow and you think that's smart and that I'm dumb, 
It doesn't make any sense. Paul goes, I'm not going to look around at all this stuff. And it's tempting. It's tempting to all of us. That's what I'm saying down here. It's crazy because everyone lives that way. Everyone lives for the red part. No one's thinking about the millions of years afterwards. It's, it's just this crazy deception that we can't get out of our minds. And Paul goes, I'm not doing that. He goes, I keep my eyes on that. I keep my eyes on that finish line. And I'm going to forget what's behind me. I'm not looking around. I'm just going to, I'm straining because I'm straining forward. I'm like stretching forward for that mark. I'm going to pass this thing. I'm going to live this out, and I'm going to face him. I'm going to come before the judges, and he's going to hand me that trophy. He goes, I'm going to get it, and I haven't gotten there yet. He goes, but you better believe I'm using every muscle, exerting every bit about me, because I'm going to pass that line well. 